It'll be awesome, right? Just do what I told you. Which is... It'll be fine. Stand a bit, a bit closer like that, right? You're good, right? Is... Shut up! This is going, this is going to work. It's going to work, all right? All right, uh, stay around. Just when I, when, I, when I go over there, though, do this. No, 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 I'll tell you when, right? All right, okay. Shut up! All right. All right, you ready? Good evening, everybody! Yeah. See where I'm going? You see where I'm going? Huh? I'm the cheeky monkey Scotty Schooling guy. I know what you're... I know what... Do the thing with your mouth, man. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Greg, you look a little more handsome and Californian than usual. It's, it was a joke. It, oh, hello. Hello. No, you don't have to do it anymore. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. No. Uh, <laughs> I told you, dude. No, 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 no. How tall are you going? No, no, no. It's, it's, how tall are you? 6'3. Six, 6'3? Three. Six, three? Yep. And then add the hair. What's that like? Uh, Another five inches. Another five inches. <laughs> that's five inches? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Hey. Your secret's good with me, Mr. Big. All right. You're really Californian. I know. I'm a California boy. Do you, uh... What's your name again? Tyson. Tyson, that's right. <laughs> well, uh, you, uh, are you a model? No. What would you do? I do nothing. Nothing all day. I see. <laughs> don't say it, it. Don't say it. Don't say it. I mean, dude, I figured it out. You know. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yo, am I freaking you out? No, actually, kind of he is. With the skeleton? Yeah. What is he about? Ah, uh, he's you know. Yeah. 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 He does that thing with his mouth better than you do. Yeah. Me and him can be buddies. Yeah, you, you should be buddies. He enjoys doing nothing all day as well. <laughs> oh, there you go. What's that about? Uh, it's kind of, it's a weird kind of masturbation thing that he does. Uh, he's got, Love it. Yeah, yeah, like that. You should get a robot, man. It's awesome. I don't know if I'd want him doing that, though. Well, that's, that's the thing about robots. You know, once you plug them in, they do anything they Ooh, la -la. like. I kind of like this robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Tyson, we, I gotta get on with the show, man. I understand. Oh, hey, oh. <laughs> uh, Tyson, everybody, it's like. <laughs> now, you see? I like that, kid. I like that, kid. Why can't we have kids like that working here instead of those perky, helpful Tootsie Fruits that we've got? <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, I'm here with Tyson, who's uh, from California, right? Yep. <laughs> so, uh, what's up? Just hanging out. <laughs> Can you, uh, do, do you, um, is that gel or do, how do you get it? Hairspray and a motorbike. Really? Do you have a motorbike? No. Friends motorbike. <laughs> so let me tell you, you're, what, what age are you? What age am I? Yeah, yeah. 21. 21, right. Oh, so Almost. You're not 21? <laughs> I'm like right on the edge, it's kind of... What, were you 19? 19? Yeah, you, you're on the edge of what? Like you're, 21. You're really sure? Of course. Now, I wanted to ask you, because you're from West Hills, right? That's right. That's out there. Is that over there? That's out there, yeah. But what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You, I mean, look, you've got, you've got your tall hair and you've got your tan. What, you're, you're, you're going to be 21. What job are you going to do? I want your job. <laughs> Can I have your job? 
<laughs> now the snake mug? No, 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 you can't just walk in here and take the snake mug. You can, you, you, you know, there, there, there are things that gotta be done. There can be only one. You have to earn the snake mug. So in, in what way? I mean, because I'll be honest with you, you're not that chatty. And this is, this is a, this is a show where talking is almost a, an essential part of the skill set. What would I have to do to take your job and get that snake mug? I'll train you. I'll train you in the ways of the talk show host, right? All right, okay. I will make you my pupil. But you must listen to what I have to say. I got it. I'm listening. All right, right. Yeah. Wax on. Wax off. I think I learned that from Jackie Chan. No, no, no. Wax on. Wax off. So, when the guest comes out, Wax on, wax off. You see what I'm saying? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it a male? Or is it just either it, way? It, it's... Look, I will train you. Wax on, wax off. That's what I'm saying. So if it's a guy that comes out and you have to wax him, wax him. I got it. I, I, I'm worried. I don't think you're ready. <laughs> so, wax on, wax off. Yeah, I think he's ready. Then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're done here. Now, I tell you what, here's your first one. Throw to a commercial break without looking obvious that you're, and, uh, and say, we'll be, in some way, imply that we'll be back with the tweets and the emails. Some way implied with the tweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, improvise in some way that we will be back. And when we come back from the commercial break, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we come back from the commercial break, we'll be doing the tweets and the emails. So, not, not, not with you. You're done. But no, no, just, for, just for the night. You know, you don't, you, you don't do it all in one day. Um, so you have to tell the folks that uh, we're going to do the tweets and the emails after the commercials. Go, go have a good go. All right, well, no, we, we no, no, that's all wrong. <laughs> Be more confident, man, confident. Too Scottish, you're being too Scottish. It's way too Scottish and, and, and you're too twitchy. Slow down. When we come back. No, no, relax. <laughs> We'll be right back with the tweets <laughs> and the remote. So what'd you think? That was your first one? That was pretty amazing. <laughs> it's invigorating. Well, I don't use the big words, but thank you. I kind of figured. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> you feel you're ready to take over? Not ready. You're not ready? Not ready. I don't know, man. I, I think it may be time. Yeah. In fact, it is. I'm going to go. You finish the show. All right? It'll be cool. Just relax. Like you, you can do it. You can do it. Now, the only thing to remember is, remember, remember, don't... Uh-oh. All right? You, I, I'll see you. You finish up. Tell them to have a nice weekend, something like that, okay? <laughs> Just, you'll be good. Wait till I leave. Wait till you leave. All right. Okay. Good night, everybody. Hello, young lady. Hi, nice to meet you. 
What a charming accent you have. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Munich. Germany? Yes. Munich in Germany? Yes. I've been there. They've got a lovely airport. Really? <laughs> do you remember? I, of course I remember. Why? Mm -hmm. do, do people talk about me being drunk in Munich? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. A little bit. Hey, uh, what, um, oh, do you have that beer festival there still? Yes, it starts in one week, one and a half week. And I'll be back there. Are you going back there? Yes. When of you course. serve, do you do you ever serve beer at that festival with a low cut top with you know? Oh. I do not serve the beer, but I have those dresses. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, um, I hope you're enjoying your time here in America. Yes. Uh, you are? Uh, people it's very be... nice here, yes. Yeah. We've been to Las Vegas before. Oh. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Did you have a nice time in Las Vegas? Yes, party and shopping. Did you go to the uh, the Paris casino when you were there? And uh, No, we were the most time at Venetian. Oh, really? It's interesting. I always thought the Germans were really interested in Paris. <laughs> I never mentioned it. Anyway, it's, uh, you should. Uh, you were the Vene Venetian's good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you go and see any of the Cirque du Soleil's? No, we were at Blooming Group, and we also were volunteers at the Blooming Group. <laughs> you were. You were volunteers. I'm here since five days now, and it's the second act. <laughs> for me. That's not It's a crazy vacation. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, an American cat right there. That can go like, like that. Like a horse. Yeah, like a horse. American cats can do that. Crazy cats. Yeah, yeah. You have here. Yeah. Hey, there's something that everybody in America wants to know about Germany. Yes. And I thought ask I'd me. ask you. Well, we all think here that David Hasselhoff is really popular in Germany. <laughs> and yes. we're and we're kind of like, really? Isn't he that popular in USA? Oh sure, yeah, no. <laughs> He's a very a big star here, but in a kind of ironic way. You're kidding about him more. Yeah, there's yes. a kind of irony involved to it, I think. In Germany, it's... it's... like an idol, I think. Really? Yes. It's very popular. Baywatch, Pamela Anderson, yes. Oh, Baywatch, yeah, no, everybody, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> but David Hasselhoff itself, I think he's too old now. No! <laughs> His time is gone. <laughs> His time has gone? Yes. <laughs> no, I, I think he's got a little time left. I <laughs> like to think David's got a bit more burger dropping left to do. <laughs> so, um, when are you going back to Germany then? Mm -hmm. On Monday. We're leaving from San Francisco. Ah. Uh -huh. yes. I'm going to San Francisco this weekend. Really? Yeah. We too on Friday. Let's I'm meet going us on there. Saturday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I'm means married, I'm married, I'm married. <laughs> but <laughs> no but I am married. <laughs> but I am actually going to San Francisco this weekend. <laughs> You ever, you ever been there? No, it's the first time oh, there. Ah, you'll love it up there. They have a yes. lot of dudes with pants with no asses in them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been the usual professional show here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what you want to do when you get back to Germany. Start a show like this, professional. Yeah, it's unique. We don't have similar, a similar show there. Yes. Well, this is, you know. <laughs> I, I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming to America. You know. <laughs> Do you want to say goodnight? Um, no. Can I greet my parents? Sure. <laughs> hi, mom. Hi, dad. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do they speak German? 
Yes. Oh. <laughs> so why don't you say in German, good night, mom, good night, dad, good night, everyone else who can't afford cable. <laughs> Is that it? Good time, everybody! <laughs> Let's, no, don't stop. Uh, look who it is, everybody. Dave Nelson. <laughs> Tonight's guest, John Hamm. Wait, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> that's my, that's what I do. <laughs> Tonight's guest, Sorry. John Hamm. What, what are you even doing that for? That's that thing I never even bother with. You start reading it. <laughs> Dave, where, where, are you, where are you in from? Palm Desert. Oh. <laughs> California. Does it get cold there at night? <laughs> No, your studio. <laughs> oh, so that's why you brought a sweater. Right. <laughs> In the French style, I notice as well. Does that mean something when you wear a sweater on your shoulders like that? No. <laughs> You're not sending out a signal to some kind of subculture about stuff that you like to do or anything? Well, in that case, you better go back to your seat. Okay. <laughs> Dave Nelson, everybody. Dave Nelson. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing that surprised me, and the reason why I asked you to meet Dave, because uh, Dave was wearing a sweater over his shoulders, and, and I didn't want to say anything while he was here, so I waited until he was safely back in his seat, but <laughs> I don't approve of that kind of thing. your name and uh, where you state that you live in, uh, please, for the court, would you, young lady? Sure. My name's Tamara Ward, and I'm from Delaware. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on in Delaware right now, Tamara? I'm not sure. Why don't you tell me? Ooh, <laughs> Ooh a sassy one. <laughs> Are you on vacation here in Los Angeles? Oh, no, actually, I moved here. You did? Yes. Was it to escape some kind of oppressive political regime? How did you know? No, no. no. Uh, um, there, there, uh, uh, Delaware is where um, Christine O'Donnell is, is uh, running for the Senate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I might as well just come out and say, are you a witch, Tamara? <laughs> uh, maybe. I, you know. All right. Then we're going to have to dunk her. <laughs> Are you all right with that? As long as it's not the witch trials, I'm fine. No, no, no. We, what we do is we dunk you. It's, uh, and then like if, baptismal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, a little more than that. We, we, we put you in water. <laughs> we put you in water, and, uh, and if you float and stay alive, then we'll burn you. <laughs> but, if, but if you drown, you're innocent. Terrible system, you know. We should really move on. Um, well, thanks for dropping by. What did you move to LA for? Uh, come out for the film industry. I want to be a director. A director? Yes. How, great. I know, right? What kind of films are you going to make? Comedy ones. Get out. <laughs> thanks, Tamara. I. I forgot to ask Tamara the question I really wanted to ask her was, is it Tamara or Tamara? <laughs> I'll have to wait until she directs a film and then comes back to the show to talk about it. Or maybe I'll talk to her later in the show. Or maybe I'll forget. <laughs> you are miracle. miracle. Mm -hmm. 
and you're Miracle's mom. Yes. What's your name? Kathy Ann. Kathy Ann. Now, you named your daughter Miracle. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got flowers in your hair. <laughs> Let's do a little detective work, shall we? <laughs> well, Kathy Ann. He put it to you that you probably enjoy the music of the Grateful Dead. <laughs> let me, let me put it to you, Kathy Ann, that I suspect at least one item of your clothing is tie-dye. <laughs> Would I be correct? Two. Two. <laughs> Two items of clothing. Have you, uh, before or at any time recently, spent any time in San Francisco? <laughs> I can't remember. Yes. Yes. Would any of that time been spent in the Haight Ashbury district? Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> A pattern begins to emerge. And now we go for the killer question. Have you at any time, Kathy Ann, enjoyed? A herbal cigarette. <laughs> you don't have to answer that for legal reasons. <laughs> Let's just say scented candle. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, I, it's love. I like that you wear flowers in your hair. It's lovely. I think it's a lovely bonding mother-daughter thing. It smells Thank nice, you. too. It does smell nice. May I have a smell? Whoa. <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, no, it's, it is good. It smells, it's very pungent. It's All right, <laughs> yeah, it smells kind of the same. Mother daughter. <laughs> Are you all right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, I better go on with it then. I bring you Kathy Ann and Miracle tonight uh, because we've decided that from now on, every night, I'm going to meet a member of the different member of the audience. And this is a thing that we'll do every night from tonight until the end of tonight. <laughs> and then I'll never do it again. <laughs> so if you're planning to come and see the show, don't bother dressing up. <laughs> Hello, young lady. What's your name? Judy. Judy. That's a lovely, that's a lovely sort of auntie name. <laughs> Do you know, when one of the CBS stars, Billy Cardell from Mike and Molly, was here the other night, he said, hey, can you wave to my Aunt Judy? That wouldn't be you by any chance, would it? It would. <gasps> Uh, Aunt Judy, if you were here, wouldn't you like to wave to Billy? I would like to wave to Billy. <laughs> yeah. Have you noticed that Billy has become a complete jackass since he became famous? No, I haven't noticed. Oh, no, it's beginning. Oh, he's probably sad. hiding it from you, but... <laughs> those of us who've known him for less time have noticed he's become a complete bastard since he's... from, Judy? Originally Pittsburgh, but now Orlando. Oh, nice. You, that's nice. Steelers? Steelers? <laughs> I, I have to do that. I know, I understand. I'm originally from, from Europe. Go Brits? Go, uh, go <laughs> abroad. <laughs> um, so, um... <laughs> So you got to say hi to Billy. Are you visiting Billy? Uh, for, hi, we are. Have you been to the Mike and Molly set? Yes. No. <laughs> it's probably better than this, isn't it? Uh, no.
Hi, Janine. Hi, Craig. Hi, everyone. This is Janine. Janine was in the audience tonight waiting for the show to start when the audience warm-up guy who tries to curry favor with the audience by throwing small pieces of chocolate at them hit Janine in the eye. How'd you feel, Janine? Better now. How many fingers am I holding up? Ten. Janine, far be it from me to point out anything obvious to you, but CBS are a pretty rich corporation. I don't know much about your big city ways, but... I hear tell that where you come from, which is... Los Angeles. Los Angeles! <laughs> Why? Don't they have lawyers like Gloria Aldred in Los Angeles? <laughs> Why, that ambulance-chasing bitch would love this one. I think I'll give her a call on her. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. So you're not going to sue, are you? Nah. Good. Can you write that? Would you sign that over there? So, um, well, that, that worked out then. It did? Yeah, yeah. I got to talk face yeah, to face yeah, and with my very favorite talk show host ever. <laughs> whoa, 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 clearly, clearly, clearly your judgment is somewhat impaired from your recent injury. <laughs> so, what do you do for a living? I work for the FDIC. <laughs> What? And title companies and stuff like that. You mean you're some kind of legally person? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. What, do you, what do you do for them? On then? the fringes. You're on the fringe of... <laughs> on the fringes of the legally people. But what, but what do you do what, as the FDIC? Oh, it's... I don't. I'm not the FDIC. All right. Uh, I just occasionally work for them. All right. Um, all of bad loans, remember? Ah! Oh! So you were aiming for her. <laughs> it wasn't an accident at all. I'm sorry you got hurt, Janine. <laughs> we'll be right back. Janine is fine. CBS cares. Come on. <laughs> now look. Shh, quietly, quietly, everyone. Please, please, please. For copyright reasons, you're nothing to do with the great Nintendo company, are you? <laughs> if you're not familiar with what's going on here, uh, these uh, gentlemen are the sweater guys. Every now and again, they come to the show, there's two of them, they wear the same clothes, and that's enough to get you on this show. <laughs> and if you've... Uh, if, uh, uh, and if you've... Uh, <laughs> If you've watched this show for any length of time, you'll know that for what this sweater dude here once broke up with this sweater dude and brought another sweater dude. It was shameful. <laughs> but what happened was that they, they made up and then they're back again. Probably something to do with this very convincing moustache. <laughs> anyway, um, it's great. You look like very capable lesbians. Now, I know, what you're I know what you're thinking, and many people have said this. I know many people have said, Craig, why do you put these guys on the show? They are just looking for attention. And I go, oh yeah, that would make them different from everybody else on TV for a while. <laughs> well, they're just dressing up so that you look at them. Yes! your name for the ladies and gentlemen of the audience, please? Certainly. My name is Jasmina Nevada. Jasmina? Hmm. <laughs> Jasmina, where are you from? Venezuela. Really? Venezuela, you say? Yes. Strange. That doesn't sound like a Venezuelan accent to me. <laughs> it certainly is. Re is that a Venezuelan accent? Not quite. Well, what? What? <laughs> 
Why don't you have a Venezuelan accent if you're from Venezuela? I am from Scotland, hence my adorable Scottish accent. Oh, but there's, a, there's a secret to mine. Well, tell us it then. The secret is I went to an English school in Venezuela. Therefore... The English of a school in Venezuela? <laughs> the French, the Germans, everybody has a school in Venezuela. Really? It's paradise. And they teach you to speak with a Venezuelan accent? I mean, an English accent? <laughs> an English accent. With an English accent. So, if Dick Van Dyke had gone there before he made Mary Poppins, his accent would have been good? Perfect. <laughs> Last night, you could have told him that. Oh, what a shame, but you didn't invite me last night. I didn't invite you tonight. <laughs> now, are you, are you living in Venezuela and visiting Los Angeles, or have you left Venezuela to come to Los Angeles to I've do... I've left Venezuela to risk it all in Los Angeles. What are you, what are you going to do here? I'm an actress. I see. <laughs> How's it going? That's a pretty good so far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what kind of acting do you like to do? Happy uh, acting or sad acting? A bit of everything. I, all like, right, then. I like to cry, I like to be happy, I like to be very emotional, I like to do it all from the heart. Otherwise there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid CBS is not the place for you, then. <laughs> uh, I wish you luck with your acting. Thank you. I hope it goes well for you, and I hope you get many parts as the Venezuelan English girl. <laughs>have you been on the show now? So, uh, how long have I been working here? For? No, no, how long have you been actually on the show as a regular member or a tr troop of travelling players? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just a few days now. Since Monday, Bridger. Yeah, four Monday. Five days. Five days. <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Oh, he's good, isn't he? <laughs> Thank you. Now, Bridger, let me ask you this. On your Tweety page, on the Twitter. Sure. How many followers did you have on Monday? Uh, 900. How many do you have now? Uh, last I checked, uh, like almost 2,000. Good. Now, let me ask you this. You've been working in the show and you've been on TV for a number of days. <laughs> Has it gotten you laid? <laughs> no. No. I've been here seven years. Me neither. So, here's what I say to you, son. I say, say to you, son. I don't know why, but every time I'm talking to you, I start to feel like a southern lawyer. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to draw, I, see, I say, I feel like I'm trying to draw, to draw information out of you, son. Are you having a good time? I'm worried. I'm worried that I'm pushing you into the, the spotlight of show business when really you'd rather be not in it. I'm having a wonderful time. Really? You were naked, you were naked on the show on Wednesday. That was that was a low point. That was a low point? Yeah, well, you, you know, you, yeah, not for us. We loved it. You looked great, man. <laughs> well, um, good. Um, uh, well, we've got a great show tonight, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. No, we haven't. There, You lied. <laughs> no, we've got the usual crap. <laughs> Don't lie to the audience. That's the first rule. <laughs> That was a lie. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take a commercial break. Right. I'm going to uh, walk over here. Okay. I'll stay out the way. Or I might go over here. Yeah, right. I'll go over here. Come. And you say to the folks at home, hey, folks, we've got a great show, and we'll be right back after these commercials. Right? Or something like that. Okay. Yeah, just okay. relax and do it. <laughs> Stand up straight, son. Stand up straight. <laughs> Tilt your head forward a little. You, you look good. You look great. 
Look, relax your arms, relax your arms. There, relax your arms like that. R relax them. That, yeah, like that. R relax them, but keep them in, in view. Okay. Right. Uh, well, no, we, wait, wait. Okay. Right, kind of look off to like, like you're friendly with the producer, but you're not really, you're just pretending you are. Yeah, and then you look back like that, all right? This is great. Once he gets the hang of this, I am out of here. All right, go. We have a wonderful show, so uh, we're going to go to a commercial break and then come back. So tonight, because it's a Doctor Who special, we had this idea to do. I had I'd written that we had the Doctor Who theme music, and, uh, and I'd written some words over the top of it, and we all did a dance number, and we rehearsed it. Last two days, we've been rehearsing it. Rehearsed it like crazy. It was awesome. We were dancing around. The puppets were in it. It was like, ooh, and I, you know, I did a whole big thing, because I know you enjoy the puppet intros, and to be honest, I enjoy them too. And look, these guys don't dress like this all the time. Well, he does, but nobody else does. <laughs> So anyway, five minutes before we start tonight, I'm not kidding, five minutes, the producers, and I use the term loosely, <laughs> come to me and say, uh, Craig, we haven't got legal clearance to use the song. <gasps> That's the noise I made. <laughs> and then I made a noise that you probably wouldn't make. <laughs> not if you're a lady. <laughs> I said, you! What's that coming to go? What's that coming to go? Tootsie Fruitsie. But luckily I didn't let it affect me or make me angry in any way. <laughs> By the way, this is Doctor Who's uh, uh, magic pen. I look forward to your corrections. Uh, I know what it is. Anyway, this is what I'm going to use on the nuts of the people that produce this show. <laughs> Don't get old, you know. Anyway, so here's the thing. Uh, we're, we're only uh, legally entitled to do uh, a much uh, scaled down version of our dance number. So you ready, everybody? a bit awkward. Uh, for those of you that have been watching the show for a long time, sorry, uh, um, you probably know that uh, Chris uh, dressed as Gunter here as a regular on the show and then uh, you know we have a, a new arrival here, this is Bridger and people have said to me, hey wait, are you replacing Chris with Bridger? Yes. No. <laughs> Look, just because two guys happen to be the same adorable guys. <laughs> Look, I've got an idea for a show. You guys share an apartment, right? You're the neat one, and you're the... No, you're the neat one. And you're the, the slobby one, and you... It'll be awesome. <laughs> Did you guys meet before? Are you competitive with each other in some way? I... Uh, no. You know, I don't know, this is kind of weird, but uh, I think we need to take a step back and look at what's really happening here. <laughs> All right. I think you're trying to get us to fight over you. Um, 
You're crazy. <laughs> Why? That's a crazy idea. What kind of fight are you talking about? Underpants pillow fight? <laughs> now, I just want you to know that there's room in this show for both of you. And a Dalek. And a skeleton robot. <laughs> but not... Well, but not me. Yes, I resign. <laughs> I leave you in the capable hands of Bridger and Chris. Wow, who's that cute little spud? <laughs> it's Bridger, everybody. Bridger, introduce yourself to the ladies and gentlemen. Tell them your position at the show. Um, I'm Bridger Weiniger. I'm a PA at the show. PA at the show, eh? Ever worked on any other late night show before? Um, yeah, I worked for uh, the Letterman show. Oh, David Letterman at 11.30 on CBS? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> so let's see. You're a red-haired gentleman, that would be fair to say, wouldn't it? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> you used to be on at 11.30, but now you've changed your time slot. <laughs> Let me put it to you, Bridger, if that's really your name. <laughs> that your idea was to actually be on TBS this evening with your new show, but somehow you've sneaked in here to the glamour... <laughs> Dude, you've got to know that going from working for Dave to working here is not a step up. <laughs> yes, well, you know. Well, we want to make you welcome. And everyone that watches this show, Mrs. Henderson. <laughs> that's who watches the show. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to welcome you. Is this your first day? Uh, f second week. Second week. <laughs> I don't pay a lot of attention to what's going on in here. But I ran, I ran into you today, didn't I? Yeah, sure. I said, you're new kid, aren't you? I, I said, and I said, you want to be on TV? And you were like, I've been on TV, I've been on Dave. Didn't you say that, Bridget? I, I, yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> Bridget, imagine yourself in a 19th century private school in Britain. Okay. Uh... I will be performing the role of school bully. <laughs> you shall be cute young boy that's, uh, that everyone identifies with, but they secretly like, like me because I'm the sexy one. <laughs> it's not going to be like that. Uh, things will be all right. But I do warn you, occasionally we do musical numbers and the cutest member of staff has to dress up in a little leather outfit. <laughs> um, okay. Did they tell you that at the interview? They, yeah, did not mention that. <laughs> Michael? Have you met the skeleton? Uh, we haven't met uh, formally, no. Uh, Bridger, this is uh, Jeff, Jeff, Bridger. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> he likes you. On you go, on you go. That's Bridger. He'll be joining us on the show for some time. What do you think? How, how do you think it went? So, uh, I think it went pretty well. Yeah, it was all right. right. It was all right. You know, you pr I don't know if you know, um, and I'm certainly not accusing anybody of anything. Sure, sure. <laughs> but uh, I went to get the Mike uh, Kaplan CD out of the CD box, and it, it wasn't there. Um, I didn't take that one. Then what one did you take? <laughs> uh, I've got a few at home. Okay. Well, it's fine because I would say to you, it, my guess is this. CBS are probably paying you nothing. <laughs> Steal as anything you can get your hands on. <laughs> and if you need an alibi, I'm your man. <laughs> We're back.
So uh, just remember, keep your head down, work hard, and things will be good here. And we're very proud to have you aboard, and don't uh, steal much. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to be a great team. I think we're going to be a great team, yeah. Bridger, is it Winnegar? Wow, Winnegar. Winnegar. Yeah. Winnegar. <laughs> what is that, French? So, I actually don't know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe worth finding out. <laughs> I'll, I'll look into it, I'll look into it. Maybe that could be a bit on the show. We could send you to your aunt's... Well, we don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> Bridger Winnegar, everybody, we'll be right back. Oh, they know we're we'll back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. thinking because you're from another country you can start hosting this show. You don't just turn up and they give it to you. Actually, that is what happens, yeah. but... <laughs> but it's mine. Uh, what is your name, young lady? Nikki. Nikki, and what is your name? Camille. Nikki and Camille. Where are you from? Australia. Australia! <laughs> G'day. G'day to you. Aren't they tall? <laughs> I'm six foot three! <laughs> I'm not kidding! <laughs> I've got a very small penis, but I'm six foot three! <laughs> what are you doing uh, in America, ladies? Travelling. Oh. As hobos? <laughs> yes, how did you Are know you that? riding the rails? I'm... And by riding the rails, I mean... Yeah, what... <laughs> really? What do you mean? No, I don't know. I mean, do? you know, you're just travelling around? Yeah. Uh, We've that... been uh, just come back from Central America and been. We were working around America and went on holidays. Now we're back and I can't here understand and there. The words you're saying. <laughs> Yeah. I can't understand a word of it. Wow, this is going to be an interesting show. No, it's... I can't understand you or us. Wow, it's going to be fun. Nope, didn't get any of that. Did you get any? <laughs> so you're travelling around and then you ended up here. I'm sorry that you ended up here. Yeah, so wait. It's a bummer. Right. How long are you going to be in LA? I leave tomorrow night. Oh, and you're staying? Yeah, for a little while. Well, you're not travelling around together, having little pillow fights in hotel rooms? We've already done that. We've, already done that. We've, had, we've been doing that for three months. <laughs> kind of bored. <laughs> we'll probably just play in some old taped show. Yeah, we'll probably right. have a rerun of MacGyver and we can go out. <laughs> I know you'd like that too! All right, uh, well, that's uh, welcome to America. Thank you. Yeah, Thank uh, you. Uh, <laughs> Nikki and Camille. Now, here's the thing. Here's the interesting thing, because Nikki and Camille, they're sitting in lesbian row. But what, I, what they don't know is there's a dude sitting next to them. Look, look at the dude in lesbian row, look. Yeah. Except, I, I'm always wary of saying there's a dude in lesbian row, because it might just be a very butch lesbian. <laughs> But in this case, I'm fairly confident. That's a very butch lesbian. All right. Uh... <laughs> now, listen, this might look a little odd. Let me explain. Uh, this is Joe. He, he works in the, the props. He's called Joe Props. It's a coincidence. Uh, wait, don't applaud. You don't know if he can hear or not. He can. But... Joe has been working here for a long time, but he's retiring uh, tonight. This is Joe's last show. Don't say, oh, he's actually a very unpleasant man. But, but the thing is, I got Joe a present. The funny thing is... <laughs> Joe thinks I've got him two very complicit lesbians. <laughs> but I haven't. I've got him an even better present. Wait there. Wait there, Joe. Talk amongst your lesbian friends. Hey. Congratulations, Nikki. Yeah, How are you right. going? Awesome. There you are, I Joe. I got you a bow and arrow that shoots marshmallows. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Joe always says to me, do you know what we should do, Craig? Do you know what we should do? When the horse comes out, we should shoot it with marshmallows. When Secretariat comes out, we should shoot it with marshmallows. And I always say, no, the PETA people will be after us, Joe. But tonight, I'm going to make Joe happy. When I get behind there, 
I'm going to hit that bell. This place is going to go crazy. You might see a horse brought down by soft, <laughs> soft chewy treats. <laughs> and by soft chewy treats, I'm no, never mind. <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay, girls, step back. I know Australia's dangerous, but it's not as dangerous as a fake horse getting shot. <laughs> I don't know, I was just giving a 360. Nice. Now, are you wearing boots? Yeah. You bad bitch. <laughs> uh, everybody, uh, Kristen is the guest on the show tonight. She's my friend and she's feeling a little bit sick. Aww. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's just a little head cold. And I'm not contagious anymore. I don't think. <laughs> uh. Did you catch it from that weird looking blue thing on your finger? Did I catch it from my Band-Aid? Yeah. I caught That's it from a Band-Aid? My... Yeah, it's a Band-Aid. When did you start making blue bands? Is that a celebrity? But, oh, I'm in your light? There's no Ooh, la la. light in here. That's my light. Ah. Oh, that's Where's my the light? Craig? I'm walking towards it. <laughs> Stay out of the light, Caroline. No, I'm going into the light. It says, see, read it. What does it say? Kristen Bell, celebrity no, bandage. No, that's not what it no. says. What does it say? Shark. Bite. So you don't have to explain your injuries. <laughs> and I have one do, that says ninja fight, too. Do you really? Yeah. Do you have one that says genital rash? I didn't get that one. No, I, I know, might know someone who would want one. Craig. Well, I, you know, I've been wearing it very happens. tight pants. <laughs> Look, if you're easily offended, now would be the time to watch Jimmy Fallon. He's a great kid. It's a good show. What? Where are you looking? <laughs> I'm Do you looking. Know what it looks like in here? It's like a mirror, but a downward-facing mirror. It, I can see my own peepee. -pee. <laughs> Where are you looking? I'm looking into their souls, Kristen. <laughs> see. Isn't it beautiful, Kristen? It's gorgeous. Walk towards it, Kristen, with your little crazy finger. You know, it's a little bit junky having band-aids on when you're on TV. Why? I don't know. It's kind band-aids of... are real. I'm real, Craig. Uh, excuse me, aren't you a Hollywood actress? <laughs> yeah, that's real. <laughs> yeah. You put your hands up here. Yeah, sometimes? I used to do this a lot, actually. And then there would be drink there, and I'd be like. Yak -a -yak -a -ka -ka. <laughs> Like that, yeah. Anyway, Kristen's on the show tonight, but I'm going to send her backstage to get, um, what are you going to get? Ready. And... <laughs> I like what you do. Look how you do all that stuff. You're a fine, fine looking young woman, aren't you? Quit looking at the monitor. I'm looking at you in the monitor right now. I'm looking at you. Let's do the show like this. All right, then. Man, I've got a real tom. Uh oh, you look great. You no. look very much in shape. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah, I don't think so. I think I, I should start doing one of those abs every now and again. You know, you sit up once and then they just go rack, ching, ching, yeah. ching, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. but uh, for the meantime, I'll just use the tie girdle method. <laughs> It's gonna be an awesome show tonight, I think. I hope so. Yeah. Not this show, but there will be an awesome show on TV. Somewhere in the world. Somewhere on, perhaps another network. Uh... <laughs> you dirty bastard. <laughs> oh, we have to go. It's commercial break okay, time. Okay, bye. Right. I'll, well, you go and I'll do the monologue, and then when, when I get done, come back. And you can do the, you can just, we'll just do the whole show. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, you walk over there. Okay. Hi, Jeff. 
I know what you're thinking. Craig, you totally checked her, her, her ass when she was walking away. And I'm like, I got a map. Yeah. Hey, I'm really excited. No, because, no, don't, uh, don't, don't be too dirty. No, I wasn't excited dirty. is dirty. No, I was going to say. Excited is dirty. Don't say excited. I'm, okay, I'm slightly excited, and that's why I'm. Well, I'm not. But I'm. Yeah, slightly excited kind of implies half chub. Don't say that. I have a. I have a I have, a, I have a four iron. I have a half wood. I'm no, not, can, no, can, that's, I, can I play through? That's dirty. I just want to play through. No, no you, look, you know, just plug you, the... You, you, what, plug? Do you want to do the back? No, line? no! <laughs> I've got the show. It's coming on tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow right, night. right, right, right. Say that then. Okay, right, okay. do that. All right. Hey, I'm uh, uh, Bob Saget. That's pretty... That's pretty dirty. Uh, uh, tomorrow night uh, on A&E is this new show called Strange Days, and there's, they're running uh, 90 of them, apparently. <laughs> They're running like 90. It's like 10 o'clock, they just start running them. And it's, gonna, it's a really good show. I, I studied subcultures. <laughs> what is that you're wearing? Excuse me, young lady, what's your name? I'm Bob Saget. <laughs> I respond to that quickly. Yeah, I know. Hey! But it's tomorrow night. But yeah, I, wh w what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm not like all the cool kids and on cable. I'm still on broadcast crappy television. No, no, no. I watch this every night in a robe. In a what? In a slanket. A slanket? In a slinky. I watch this with a... Is that some kind of sexy thing? It is when I wear it. Every... All my clothes are cut out when you're on. It's tomorrow night, it's on A&E. Wait, wait, what's the name of it? What's the name of it? It's called it? Strange Days with Bob Saget. You know, what would be awesome is if you could actually be a guest on the show and actually plug it like a normal human being instead of just coming in, doing your plug and leaving, just... and then leaving me feeling dirty. I apologize. <laughs> Well, plug, Don't be dirty! But you said plugging it like a normal human being. Oh, Where's my see? mind? What am I supposed to do with that information? You have the same mind that I have. In no, fact, no, Bob. I have the same birthday you have. We do have the same birthday. We do birthday. have the same birthday, actually. That's yeah. true. Yeah, wait. No, wait. That, you don't... There is absolutely no achievement in that. Do not applaud it. Right. Enya. Enya has, Enya the, same. has the same birthday as us. Let's do Enya. All right, Bob right. Saga, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> CBS? <laughs> Not CBS. <laughs> Hi, young lady. That's Hello. a love. What's your name? I'm Lisa. That's a lovely tie. Thank you so much. Is it, did you tie it yourself? Um. Well, I, I did clip it on the back myself. It's a clip on. Oh, well, it's a clip, a clip on. on yeah. Uh, yeah. I see. Lisa, uh, please uh, stay there. Let me ask you a question, would you? <laughs> Lisa, yes. if that is your real name, <laughs> what do you do for a living? Uh. Well. <laughs> Are you a spy? It's, I, I, I'm in the entertainment business. Yeah. The I'm, entertainment? I, yes. What sort of entertainment do you provide? <laughs> well, you know, artist management. Oh, like yeah. you're an agent? A manager. A manager? A manager, yeah. <laughs> Can you get me over there? Hi, caramba. <laughs> You can get you a bigger budget. You can get me a bigger budget? Uh huh. No, in this uh -oh. network, you can. <laughs> a manager, eh? Yeah. So, that's how you buy your fancy ties. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly music. Music? Yes. Oh, what kind of music? Pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were in a band. Oh my god, we should totally, like, revive the band. <laughs> And it'll manage you. You won't be getting any more ties if you revive any of my bands. No, Lisa, I think, I think that... Do I know any of the bands that you manage? Would I know them? Um, possibly. Possibly? I don't know. Nick Hayward, Haircut 100. Nick Hayward, yeah. Love Plus One! Yes. Love, 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 Plus One! Yeah! Where did we go from really? There? Yeah. Really? Yeah! Oh! <laughs> can can they be on yeah. the show? Absolutely. Oh, this Yay. is awesome! Oh, my goodness! Lisa, who apparently manages Nick Hayward!
Say hello to my little friend. You got some news today, didn't you, Bridger? Yeah, if he, yeah, yeah if Bridger he got some news today. Now, it's not front page of People magazine news. Different you do, do you tell them your news then? Do you want to tell them your news? Go on. Uh, Craig gave me a job. I gave him a job! <laughs> yeah, Bridget was just hanging out here apparently for no money, just like me. <laughs> so do you get, do you get, do you get real money now? So, uh, I think so. <laughs> You, you get real money, and we, I believe we have dental. Don't we have dental? We do have dental? Let's <laughs> see, see your teeth. Ah, you're good. <laughs> well, that's very exciting. So now, you're still poor, but at least it's permanent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are you going to celebrate tonight with your crazy young kids, go on the Tweety and go nuts? Um, uh, maybe. I, I might get some yogurt. <laughs> You wanna you wanna get some tequila and that yogurt, son, or uh, maybe some of that. What's that stuff called that Miley Montana does? The saliva, tequila. Yeah, yeah. You want, well, do that. You don't. You know, don't want to do that, son. You get your yogurt and uh, what else? Uh, it's probably it. Just, you know, I've seen the, the the Tweety things that come in here. I mean, there are a lot of girls out there. You know, they want. Uh, you know. <laughs> They like, you know, they like the, they like that. They like what, what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the hell it is, but some of them like it. Yeah, you, you know, think about that. Maybe get someone to share your yogurt with. You know? yeah. Possibly. Possibly, yeah. Hey, you've got a job and you've got dental. For a lot of people, not, you know, a lot of girls, that's a big catch. <laughs> You love being on camera, don't you? It's uh, yeah, I have a oh, great time. Have a yeah. great time. <laughs> this is what it looks like inside here. You see? <laughs> all right, so uh, so we're good then. So you got the job. You're good. You're taking it. It's all good. I'm thrilled. Thank all right. The permanent Bridger, everybody. Bridger Weininger, we'll be right back. <laughs> and so this is Christmas. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, now if you've never seen this show, first of all, well done. Uh, uh, every uh, month or so, really, uh, every six weeks or so, these gentlemen turn up wearing outfits. So they live nearby in some dumpster and uh, <laughs> clearly think that this is an episode of Let's Make a Deal. They dress up in these outfits and they turn up the show and, and we thought, well, this would be lovely. Uh, they've, they've turned up in their Christmas sweaters. And the best thing is, I always remember their names. <laughs> but just in case you don't, I'll have them say their names to you. I thought you knew it. You said Justin. No, I do, I, do, I do know your names. Just please say your names to the ladies and gentlemen. It's Justin. kind of a Justin. Yeah. Brian. Justin, say your name. And Brian will also Brian say his name. Brian, say your all name also. <laughs> yes. That one's me. He's Justin. Yeah, I know. I, I got I, it. I know. I I'm know. I them. know. It's for them. This isn't a sketch, dude. Okay. <laughs> You've got lights on your sweater. Do they light up? I was trying to help the... No, these don't, but this does a little bit. All right, let's see. Lighting. Oh, yeah, I can see. Yeah, that's Barely. nice. They probably can't see at home, but you can. I don't know. Can, can no. you? <laughs> uh, no, this is great. I love the... Are you guys going out later? <laughs> Do you know what I like about this? That somebody actually sat down and said, let's make a fabric like this. <laughs> 
So, what are you doing for Christmas, guys? Justin and Brian? <laughs> you know, hanging out under the mistletoe. Is that... Whoa. Whoa. No, man. It's got jingly balls. I know it's got jingly balls. It's not gonna work, man. <laughs> it's, anyway, it's not real mistletoe. It's fake mistletoe, which means that, you know, it, won't, it doesn't have any magical power. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> guys well uh, I wish you Merry Christmas this year and uh, maybe next year you could stop smoking marijuana get some uh, get some uh, jobs and stop coming here <laughs> yeah no, I'm just kidding <laughs> yeah yeah no I know you always look freaked out when I say you're smoking marijuana man it's like everybody knows you know well, I, you're, you're like Willie Nelson <laughs> I'll be back, but they won't. <laughs> but you have to, you know, you have to you give a few away, you know. <laughs> Work for no money. Dude, you're yawning right in my face. <laughs> in my face. <laughs> like, not even, ah, just like... <laughs> Scratch your balls while you're out of it. Yes, I said it. Oh, man. After that awesome jingle as well? How dare you, man? I know, I know it's tiresome, I know. This is. <laughs> the thing is, you didn't even break eye contact. That was the thing. Like, you didn't even go. That's enough, everybody. You wake up the guy in the front row. <laughs> Do you know what? As I was, you know, because I, I gave the yawning guy a hard time earlier on because he was like, <gasps> and then didn't break eye contact when he was yawning, looking at me. And then, just there, just before you come back, I caught him doing this one. <laughs> Isn't that one you do at breakfast? Where you, you're like, you're waiting for your breakfast and you go... <laughs> I'll be back in uh, eight months. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>